today is gone It's another day And the clock is ticking Tick tock My life has been renewed Things has been so good Oh God, I'm happy Ten million more miles to go I've got a very long way to go Oh, but I'm not worried Hello, hello, hello. So excited to be here with you once again at What's Your Story? I absolutely love that song at the intro, but I'm not worried. I love that intro. I hope it prepares you for the coming of the show that we have available for today. And if this is your first time at What's Your Story, this is a program, a platform for those that have dedicated their lives to the Lord, falling in love with Jesus, commissioned to serve him, comes on and shares and is transparent about their journey to the process of servanthood. And sharing that journey encourages us all to stay on the pathway and not give up because God is faithful and it develops our faith. It develops our journey in our journey. It develops and unfolds our purpose. And it was commissioned and ordained before the foundation of the world. So thank you so much for joining us today on What's Your Story? I'm Dr. Beverly Swanson Powell. Now, listen, we want to know your story. This show airs on our YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. It also airs on Glory Gospel TV, which is over 98 countries. So make sure you don't miss the show. It shows weekly. And I will give you the times and dates for that because there has been a change. But I want to go ahead and get started with today's program because my guest today is truly a very special guest. Of all the shows that I've had, this is the first time that I've had the opportunity to have this very busy seer prophet of God and my spiritual son, the joy of my heart, my husband and I, is, oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. People of God, I can barely get it out. But here we go, here we go. I want to introduce you to the seer prophet of God, the spiritual son of both my husband, Ken Powell, and I, and an absolutely joy to Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministries, a, a, oh my God, Seer Prophet, Man of God, Samir Patris. Well, let's get him on the studio. Instead of me talking, 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 let's get him on. Hello, 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 Samir, Man of God. <laughs> shalom, mom. Shalom to everyone. I'm also so excited. It's a really honor and privilege to a great platform, a great show for the hidden ones. What's your story? <laughs> I can't stop smiling because I know it's hard. 
and I know his story. So I'm I'm so excited to uh, have this opportunity for him to come on. I, I know the last show I I had, we had another woman of God on. And one thing that we kept saying is our God is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And the word of God, the Bible is the word of God. So it's never ending. The prophets that he had of yesterday well, the prophets that he has today and the prophets that he will continue to have in the Old Testament. It set the foundation for the prophets and that foundation continues. But I don't want to get ahead of myself because I am excited. I want so much to share this bio with you. Again, this is Seer Prophet Samir Petrus. He, is, he resides in Karachi, Pakistan. He is the national coordinator for Glory Gospel TV. That means he coordinates from multiple countries and nations for that show. He is the associate pastor of Glory Gospel Assemblies Church. He is the prophetic voice behind his show, his international TV program, Prophetic Voice for the Nations. He is a pastor himself of a branch of Glory Gospel Assemblies Church. He's the president of a youth army that he has compiled. And I think it's been several years since you've had that youth army that God had placed in his spirit and in obedience. So he is the president of Jesus Army of Youth Group. Glory be to God. An amazing group of young men. Not to mention, he is the manager of the social media platform for our ministry of Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministry. And not only is he a son of this ministry, I had the privilege of commissioning him, ordaining him into his seer prophetic walk, the office thereof by the order of God. Mm. So, and he is a seer prophet to the nations. People of God, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet our spiritual son, a man of God, Samir Petrus, and he's quite handsome too. <laughs> oh, Samir, again, I'm so delighted that you are here to share your story. Now, I do know a part of that, and if you don't mind, because your story is so captivating, I would like to start there. People of God, this man of God is a true prophet, Samuel. He was dedicated by his parents to Glory Gospel Assemblies Church and the pastor there, which is Reverend Irfan Dean, who is also a spiritual son of ours. And he has, I believe, 37 churches now under his uh, steed. And I commissioned him just months ago as an apostle, an apostle to the nations. So he has 37 churches through his steed currently. And again, uh, Samir is one of those that outreach of his church. Um, but the Lord God took him from his home, from his parents at age 12, the oldest of seven to the church. Samir, you wanna share that story, how that happened, how you felt, um, all that you have learned and done for the Lord since then? Yes, for sure. Uh, it was, uh, first of all, against uh, it's really honor and privilege to be on my mentor, my apostle, my mom, uh, queen of my heart. And it's really honor to share my story on this platform. And I want to encourage everyone, everyone who are watching us, listening us, uh, this story will be bless your soul. And it's a great encouragement to everyone, especially for the young adults of 
all the young uh, who want to come in ministry and want to walk with god it's a really encouraged story so i start with my story uh, i first give all the glory and honor to our lord jesus who is the king of king and i really honor that he chose me for his kingdom work it's my really honor to serve him uh, with my all the talents my life my gifts i have all i have it's for jesus yes all in me praise his holy name and for his so i am belong from as the woman of god in my biography she tell that i am belong from pakistan uh, so i want to tell you the pakistan is the uh, located in the continent of asia and our neighbors countries uh, are india iran afghanistan and china we have uh, this four borders and uh, because i want to tell you the background where from i am belonging and the where from god raised me so pakistan is a muslim continent muslim country uh, the 95% is muslim but we thanks god that uh, in days uh, where we believe that god revealing himself to the people's encounters angelic encounter jesus encounter encounter of his love changing and transform the people of life just not in uh, like other nations same god doing this work in pakistan because our lord is same today yesterday and forever so i start with my story uh, in very young age when i am 12 years old i have encounter with jesus and i get the baptism of the holy spirit uh, in the meeting of the pentecost sunday the pentecost sunday i was in a church and the pastor was leading a prayer for the baptism of the holy spirit uh, so that time i am sunday school children i am going to sunday school but the, because of uh, my desire and my hunger for the lord uh, that sunday i said i am uh, don't want to go sunday school i want to attend a church i want to uh, receive the baptism of holy spirit uh, i want to listen the word of god so i was not go to sunday school i attend the church and when pastor praying for the baptism of holy spirit suddenly the tears would start from my eyes uh, and uh, i'm praying and i'm praying at that time i don't know uh, where i am and who is looking at me what going on uh, my just hunger is that i can receive the holy spirit i'm thirsty for the holy spirit that time suddenly my tongues was changed and i start to speak in a tongues wow the heavenly language at age 12 yes glory to jesus oh. and then what happened did your was your parents there did they hear that uh that time my mother was there and uh, some of my friends so from there my journey starts so yeah. little little uh, i start to involve in a church and ministry work and the uh, glory and the fire of god you know and uh, it's manifest uh, i remember in a age of 12 when i start pray for people the demons was living people cast out demons healing and prophecies the releasing so i recognize that god choose me for his work especially for 
the calling prophetic anointing upon my life so i start ministry little 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 in a uh, i start with you know uh, meetings with the small cell groups cell groups i'm going to different housing visiting them and we make a cell groups and in this cell groups was god you know just manifests his glory and the revival begin to start so god using me so mightily the youth coming the new family coming the church was growth uh, if uh, i want to give you uh, as i'm uh, you know uh, telling you my story but i also want to encourage you if you are a uh, in a living church if you are a living church or you have a desire to serve lord share your testimony in any in any area of your life maybe you are in school you are in college you are in your job uh, it's not uh, you know uh, important and it's not a duty of only pastor duty or church ministers duty to share a testimony everyone have you know this responsibility to share his testimony testimony have a power so through my testimony uh, when uh, the one person first person who repent uh, through my testimony uh, you know it was so interesting uh, story at uh, that time you know my age was uh, like uh, 13 years and i have my bible like this <laughs> like all the time i walking with my bible like this all the time <laughs> so uh, uh my cousin alisha and me you know we are walking through uh, completion that time i have my bible so i said him let's go to the park when we go to the park i see some young uh, young boys are smoking a weed so that time the tears again start in my eyes and i said to alisha i said let's bro do something let's do something so uh, he said okay bro so we start you know our worship evening worship in alisha house the house was packed and then we did a youth street revival meeting and this uh, and i re- uh, remember uh, so clearly in 2013 uh, uh, 15 august 2013 15 august we did uh-huh. that uh, revival meeting street meeting and in this very first revival street meeting the young almost 200 youngs was gave his life to jesus oh my gosh and how old were you then uh in 2013 i may be 15 oh my yeah. look at god and this is you were doing this independent of the church it was just yes. burning inside your soul and you had to help yourself yes look at god look at god i you know how amazing it was that at pentecost you experienced the fire baptism of the holy spirit the same way the disciples did and the fire and the tears the fire upon your eyes caused it your eyes just to swell with water in tears of the heart of god and how appropriate that here you are called forth by god himself as a prophet and by the holy spirit of god he had fire burn upon your seer eyes at the age of 12 on pentecostal sunday the fire baptism of the holy spirit and you were filled with insatiable hunger for more of the holy spirit now you know at age 12 also is when jesus tried to start his ministry <laughs> and he had such a hunger to teach them and show them the truth that 
he, his parents didn't even know he was missing. <laughs> and at the same age, the God, the God that we love and serve set you apart by the Holy Spirit himself. Okay, God. And ever since then, you have started your ministry. Yes. So after that, uh, because of my fruitful ministry, Reverend Dean, so the, the fruitful ministry, he ordained me as an evangelist. So he ordained me as an evangelist. So I start then more my hunger, my love for God. And I'm so passionate. And I start, you know, uh, step out my foot out of my city. And in the age of 15, I did a, a mini crusade of myself. Someone invite me from the, our province, our state called Punjab, from the Punjab uh, in one uh, area, Faisalabad. Uh, here I did my mini crusade. And uh, I speaking to, in an age of 15, to front stately 2,000 people. At age 15. Yes. It was my first crusade. And then uh, the uh, crusade, God showed his so much miracles. And uh, in my every meeting, God released prophetic words. What so, miracle stands out um, the most in your the heart most, uh, and your mind yeah, as you the think most, of your journey? Yeah, the most uh, God do in my ministry deliverance work. Special gift. Yeah. My special gift, as you know, pray in spirit. So when I start yeah. praying spirit, so people deliver. So you see Deliver. demons, people being set free of demons. Yeah. Yes, yes, De deliverance ministry. Glory be to God. You know, I was looking at uh, making notes while you were talking. So at age 12, you were baptized by the Holy Spirit. Your eyes were marked for the seer gift. But that seer gift, I had not begun yet. And then at age 13, you started a ministry in the church. And then you started coming to the church because you were going, going cell, holding cell groups and going door to door with your cousin and your Bible on your chest. Ministry. Like all the time. <laughs> and because of that and that anointing for the salvation of youth, the youth started to come to the Church of Glory Gospel Assemblies. And then at age 13, you started holding meetings in the park. And this is without a pastor with you, you and your Bible standing up and preaching the word of the gospel. And then at age 15, you started a street ministry, a street revival ministry and you continued on at that time almost 200 people gave their life to jesus now you're not a real big guy <laughs> you're about 510 so i can't imagine at 26 i cannot and that imagine time i was very skinny very skinny I cannot imagine how small you were, and then you said very skinny at that time. And there you are, this young man with your Bible, teaching the word of Jesus in a country that's 95% Muslim. You were definitely operating under the anointing of God and the power and protection of his Holy Spirit. And then at age 15, ministered at your uh, your first crusade. There are people as adults and uh, pastors, preachers and reverends that haven't even ministered at a crusade. And you ministered at age 15, this skinny little man and his with wife. Red eyes, with red eyes. <laughs> with red eyes, I can imagine. Yes. For over 2,000 people. 
What a blessing that you have been to Glory Gospel Assemblies. So how did things continue to develop for you after age 15 and then ministering at your at a crusade at that age? Yeah, that was so awesome experience, you know, that time because uh, it's confirmed my calling. I don't know how the things was around my favor. God uh, gave me good team, good leaders. Uh, good elders, good evangelists. Uh, I have a huge team. More, uh, uh, the apostle of God know very well. I have a great team who work with me. The, that time, the team, the supporter who support me uh, to do the continue the work, but uh, uh, everything going very good, very good. Uh, but suddenly, something's turning around some hard times coming because the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. He's in trouble. So he tried to start, stop me. He tried to stop me uh, with different way. Uh, some religious leaders, some religious people start against me that he was doing so many prophecies uh, in his meeting. Uh, people was uh, slamming, coming on floor. He was prophesying like this. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. So I little bit disturbed. One year, I remember uh, from 2015 to 2016. Uh, one year, I was uh, very disturbed. I want to very trans uh, trans parents. I want to say truth. So everyone. Uh, encourage, but I never give up. At uh, that time, in my hard time, I just pray, 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 and never give up. So never give up. So uh, that's one again that give me one more big view, more big view. Uh, so by the grace of God, that the services, the street evangelism, to city to city. Uh, I continue, I continue work for the Lord. And then uh, the day uh, pandemic start, I jump uh, in 2019 that, uh, you know, uh, bring me in a media ministry. I start my show called Prophetic Voice for the Nation. So because so many uh, international speaker and especially God spoke to me that I'm a prophet of the Lord from uh, coordination and I uh, every morning when I wake up I dedicate Jeremiah chapter 1 to myself every morning this is my practice till now every day I was uh, when wake up I dedicate Jeremiah chapter one for myself, that I'm a prophet for nation, my duty for nation, nation, nation. So in 2019, I start media ministry. People from around the world, uh, uh, I'm located so far, meals, uh, lots of meals, we are far, but God connect me with the people. And during that time, the from the divine appointment for divine connection, God have someone for me in a located California, Sacramento. <laughs> the woman of God, Dr. Beverly, so she start coming in my show. And I have so many time her and our love, our bound. I don't know when comes so unite. Like uh, we are one in Christ as father and son are one. We are come one. So in 2020, uh, she come to Pakistan first time. And before her coming, once again, they will try to stop <laughs> the end. But the devil is liar. We never give up. When she came, she ordained me, gave me the prayer show, 
and the Shafar or Agro Shafar very first time without any training. That was such a powerful time. I, I just smile as you share your story. I can see the journey that the Lord had you on. So at age 12, your eyes were ignited by fire um, for the prophet of the Lord. And it left you with an insatiable hunger to learn more of the Holy Spirit. And you immediately um, had to minister the word of truth. Well, just like at Pentecost, when the fire of God hit the disciples and it immediately um, they went out and started ministering the gospel of truth. So did you. But working in that area of evangelizing, evangelism so much that your pastor committed or ordained you as an evangelist because you were winning souls for the kingdom of God with yeah. seeing um, miracles, signs and wonders with the deliverance of demonic uh, influence upon the lives of the saints. And so that prophetic office had not yet been activated within you so here it is, um, the Lord is now giving you dreams and speaking to you from the spiritual realm, prophet, prophet, and giving you the scripture, a prophetic voice to the nations. And because you do hear from God, you started an internet TV show entitled Prophetic Voices to the nation, not even promoting yourself, but creating a platform for prophetic voices all over the world globally to release the word of God, not even realizing the Lord himself was setting you up as he was nudging me to watch you, to watch you. And it wind up being on your show again and again and again. And I almost did process in place. Uh, I almost did more than thousand episodes. Wow. Uh, through the prophetic voice. Yes. Absolutely amazing. So the Lord walked you through that journey. And then he tells me, yes, go to Pakistan. And he tells me to commission or ordain you as a seer prophet of God. What a powerful time that was. I took a team there, a very special team of uh, anointed women, daughters at that time, uh, prophetic evangelist Zani Diaz from California and along accompanying me was the prophet daughter from Uganda, we went with a mission <laughs> and there was going to be a commissioning. I remember commissioning you. And then when I poured the oil over your head, I said, everything that's in me is being imparted in you. And at that time, the Lord opened up your fear eyes to see and you were able to blow that shafar that was presented to you um, by the woman of God immediately. And that is a difficult instrument to blow, the trumpet of God. But because you're the voice of God as a trumpet. Let me bring this to shafar. Now he's going to get the shafar and he's going to blow it for you. He was anointed prophet of God to be, to be a trumpeteer to the nations by trumpeting the voice of God. Praise God. Yes. Yes.
Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. When you hear the trumpet of God blow, which is like thunder, it just it shakes and shatters the the atmosphere, the spiritual realm, but it resonates with the soul, the very soul of, of those that know that they know that they know that they are people and servants of God. There's a sound and a frequency that unites us all to God himself. And thank you so much for blowing that trumpet. As you see, his life has been a journey 13 years, people of God, 13 years after the Lord set him apart from his family, the Lord, age 12, just like Jesus, 13 years later, the Lord has him commissioned and ordained as a prophet of God. 13 He's a prophet. Ever she since, also sent me these two books. They who helped me so much. Uh, this is her personal books, where she have his uh, her personal notes, and it's really helped me. The divine appointment with destiny. Uh, her spiritual father, Morris Roro, and the uh, gateway to see a realm. Uh, it's uh, Dr. Barbie Brent. Book. Uh, she presented me this and the prayer at least uh, you can see in, in my uh, profile uh, many times I'm uh, there and whenever I uh, have this prayer show, the God always release apostolic mentor and after that impartation I have many young adults start come just not to for the time or for the company, they uh, their lives are transformed and they start to ministry work with me, helping me uh, and reach to more people and extend the kingdom work after this impartation. And my seer I was open and I start encounter. I remember when she left Pakistan, almost four or five days, I meet with no one. I shut my do uh, doors. I'm just spending my time in prayer and worship. And I feel I share her. I remember that. I feel my feet are not in this earth realm. Praise God. He experienced being ascended into the heavenly throne room of God where he didn't even feel his feet on the ground anymore. Oh, people of God, God is so real. His presence is tangible. What he has for each and every one of us to do, the purpose of God is real. You don't have to be worried or how it will come to pass. The Lord has ordained it and it shall come to pass. He did not promote himself anywhere along the way the lord god promoted him the lord god sent the prophet twenty thousand plus miles to a third world country commissioned him and ordained him as a seer prophet of god in the in the time of an apostolic prophetic movement training him to go from the prophet to the apostle to the nations to teach and minister the word of truth and to raise an army of youth, young adults globally. He did not promote himself. He did not have to. It was God that did it. He's continuing to do it. And the best is still yet to come. I he mentioned I shared with him uh, personal books of mine um, I am privileged to have had um, Dr. Moore Cirillo as my spiritual father, and I am privileged for him to have released into me the gifting that he had, the Lord had him do in the commission with the grace, the glory of God, 
that is a privilege. And it, and in that book are my notes that while I was with the Lord and the information that he gave me, because we are all united as family. We're sons and daughters of the living most high God. The word must continue. And since he has the anointed office to see, uh, you're not only me sharing with him my experiences so that he is welcoming more and more of those encounters, Dr. Barbie Breathitt is a beautiful and wonderful steer prophet of God who is commissioned to break down, break apart, and explain dreams and visions. And giving him that book helped him with the visions and dreams that he would be encountering as the Lord continued to open his seer eyes to see deeper and deeper and deeper into the realm of the spirit. By the way, if you live in the Sacramento County area, Dr. Barbie Breathitt is coming back. I'm bringing her back. We call it phase three. And this time we're going to, she's going to be talking about how to interpret your dreams and the dreams of others. Very important, very critical for this year. Just keep an eye out on my um, timeline for that information. It's already um, been opened up for the event. You can register now. It's a one day, eight hour interactive intimate group. And it's May 6th of this year. So he has had not just the impartation, not just the mentoring and teaching, but he has tools that he can go back to and relate to the word of God so that the spirit of God, who is God, it can continue to marinate him in this journey that he is on to be a global influence for the kingdom of God in the earth realm from nation to nation. Um, I was hoping that you would share with them, uh, Samir, when we were in Nigeria and the Lord, and you had to come because I needed you to clear that room out for me with the Shafar and how the Lord opened your spiritual seer eyes and what you saw. Yes. Yes. I have a privilege and, you know, the, my journey was start to travel to the nation. So because of it's a really honor to be a part of Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministry travel team member. And she took me to the Pakistan to Qatar airport and then Qatar airport to Nigeria. And when we were there, she uh, uh, called me that come in her uh, place. We are next uh, apartment and I come. And when I start blow shofar, I, with my CRI, I see a big commander angel, big archangel who uh, having a sore, fiery sore and all the army dress behind her for her protection. And it was so great. And after that, uh, all the atmosphere shift. Uh, we are go to next apartment, start pray in spirit. And after the uh, start pray in spirit, you know, suddenly the rain, the rain start. Yes, he shared that with me um, because when he saw the angel that God has sent with me for that trip, he almost fell back and I was afraid he was gonna hit his head on the wall because he was so stunned when his seer eyes were open to see that angel behind me. And I knew he saw it because the Lord has these angels that are with me day to day and that travel with me to these third world countries. And um, so it is a, such a beautiful time that we're in because the Lord literally had this young boy marinating with him for 13 years, but he was still moving and doing the work of the Lord. He was one of those hidden ones 
that was born out of time, placed in time for a time such as this. And this is the year for his arising to the fullness of what he has been here ordained to do this year. The birthing is here. The arising this year is here from Isaiah 60 through to Isaiah 61 to share the gospel of truth, to set the captives free from the bondage of lies yeah. and deception, to bring joy and gladness to those that are in sorrow, to rebuild ancient cities that has been under ancient ruins of persecution and the lies and the past of cultures that has held down and held back the spiritual truth of Jesus Christ and what he has done for us all. This young man is a leader that God has ordained for a movement of youth that you are seeing in the United States. You will see it all over the world. Those youth from 18 to 25 and even younger than that. I prophesied several years that you will see and see children age three prophesying with accuracy because of the power of God and how they have been with him, marinating with him, getting to know their father, their Lord, their God, our God, our Abba, the I am that I am. This is a powerful time. His story needed to be told. It needed to be shared because we don't want you to get discouraged. God has a time for you. We don't want you to go out and, and feel that you have to do all these things that the world has done so that people can see you. God sees you. God knows your name. And God has already set and put in place your plan. So you don't have to do anything to alternate, to make it work. It has already been done. It was done in six days. And this truly is your time. I have had the privilege of ministering to those young people that he has raised up to trust God, to have faith in God, to believe in Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And these are powerful young men and women that have this insatiable love for Jesus and a hunger for the word of truth. He has been raising up world changers and you see the movement of God by like fire within Pakistan. Their church is now the first apostolic prophetic church in Pakistan, in Karachi, yeah. waving the flags, blowing the shafars, not ashamed to worship and dance before the throne room of God's grace. And it's going to continue to spread by wildfire. Pray for the persecution that he may be under. Pray for an extra blood and Jesus protection and angelic host be sent for each and every one of them to cover them as they go through this movement of God within the country and wherever he is. Samir, is there any special dream that you've experienced that you would like to share? Yeah, I want to uh, really want to share. Uh, if you remember, you know, I told you when before you come in Pakistan, I told you that I'm having a dream. I saw a big female eagle and I see a mountain, a huge mountain and the top was the net of eagle and that eagle was feeding a little baby eagles. You remember? Yes, I do remember that. Glory. So it, now it's coming to pass. So I'm so happy because the workshop we are doing and the uh, our workshop named the Rising of Young Eagles Apostolic Training 2023. So I now Realize and thank you, Holy Spirit. I remember that what is that dream? 
When he did that dream, all I truly, all I could do was just sit still. And I knew it was truly an encounter because that is the mandate uh, that one of the mandates that the Lord has given me uh, as an eagle, general of eagles that are generals and to raise them up so that they know who their God is and the power and the authority that they have, these glory carriers, these world changers, to bring them up to the top of that mountain in the throne room of his grace where truth prevails and only truth resides. And so when he shared that with me, I said, okay, this movement that he spoke had me speak the last time I was in Pakistan, I said, the movement has begun. Um, it's now beginning. So uh, we did start that workshop. Uh, the Lord had given him the name of it, Rising of the Young Eagles. I think we had a class, uh, first class of 18. Yes. Uh, and this is opened all over for um, what's worldwide. And it airs weekly on Zoom, where I am teaching them uh, so they can have a greater understanding of the spiritual realm. And it commences for six weeks, and then uh, a certificate is awarded to each and every one um, from our ministry. We have maybe just two classes left, and then we will start that workshop again for those who may want to be in attendance. But there is a criteria, right, Samir? What is the age group for those that want to participate? From 12 to 25. Yes. So it is truly for the young army that the Lord is raising up today. It really is powerful teaching. So it's weekly for one hour for six weeks. And for those that are in attendance the entire time, will receive a certificate of completion from the ministry from myself, signed, glory be to Jesus. So keep an eye out for uh, Samir, keep an eye out. If you haven't followed Eagle Wings Apostolic Ministries, please follow or follow uh, him on Facebook, uh, Samir Patris. He is getting ready to start doing more and more of his shows of prophetic voices. Uh, and so keep an eye out for that. You won't miss it if you stay connected and stay tuned for the next workshop for the rising of the young eagles that God has placed on Samir's heart. And again, he is following through with that. Oh, my. He's a powerful voice to minister to your church, to your youth group, uh, to your meetings. He's a powerful man of God that there are movements of signs, wonders, and miracles. He has an anointed ability to pray in the spirit and things start shifting and shaking. He is a yes. trumpeteer, a shafar carrying man of God that he, he doesn't go anywhere without it. He will be a blessing to you, your ministry, your youth group. And I know that he is availing himself as to um, travel as the Lord is opening up doors to do so. Samir, how can they reach you if uh, they were interested in you uh, ministering? Uh, they can contact me on WhatsApp. Uh, my WhatsApp number is available on my page, uh, Prophetic Voice for the Nation, and also on my personal page, Samir Patras Gill. And maybe they can also email me, Samir Patras2016 at the right gmail.com. Uh, and I never ignore any call, any message, because I know that grace, that great love, I want to share with you, our God don't look positions, he can't look color, he can't look your situation, he just look for your heart. So I want to encourage you just walk in obedient, uh, obedient to the Lord and your fully life committed to him and the day he have 
the best is yet to come and he will prosper you uh, you know the story the first king of israel he doing his father job he come to he don't know he go, uh, to become a king he just doing his father job finding his donkey and the prophet samuel anoint him as a first king for israel so you don't know what is your appointed time for your prosperity for your time but i want to encourage you the best is yet this is your time this is your time when god raising you and shining his glory and his face upon your life in jesus name amen in jesus name and amen what a blessing of the lord um here the story has been in hearing it again seeing it as you release it just makes me smile and love our father even more that he loves us so much that we may not think much of ourselves but he thinks so much of us he uses ordinary people to do yes. extraordinary things. Amen. And yes. man is not the one that qualifies him for any of those that he uses on his behalf. God calls, God chooses, and God himself qualifies. And he uses his sons and daughters to fulfill who he has qualified in this earth. Oh my God, you know, what an honor it was for me to go there. I've never been to Pakistan. And I tell you, they, they, they were ready for me. They loved on me like family. And they loved yes. on the, the team that came with me like family. We are family there. I have many, many, many sons and daughters between all those that I met and ministered to while I was there just three times, all the churches that are connected. It is a beautiful thing to be called mom in such a country that God loves so much and has his hands on. So what a privilege and an honor to present this man of God to you, not just as a spiritual son, but as a man of God, as a seer prophet of God, for the nation. It is an honor to present him. And I look forward to seeing more of how the Lord will use him in this prestigious year. It is a year of great triumph and it is a year of great conflict. But those that he has raised up has already overcome the conflict because Jesus has already overcome the world. So thank you so much for joining us at this time. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this amazing story. Do share it. Our young people need to be encouraged. Our young people need to understand that God has his eye on them. They are not alone. He understands their loneliness, their frustration, and their confusion. And the answer to that is already in place. He has a people. I am honored to be a part of this movement for women, to be a part of this movement for the young adult, the youth group, to be a part of this movement for millennials. So I am honored. We ask that you support us and this movement of God and this ministry by donating as your heart is compelling you to do so, to be a part of this expansion of leaders, generals, world changers, agents of change, to change the world for the four corners of the earth, to break down the world system and the arising of the kingdom of God, his kingdom is the only thing that matters. So we bless you moving forward. You want to share your story? We want to hear it. If you're willing to be transparent by sharing your story, 
contact me for what's your story, send me an email at info at drbeverlyelswanson.com. You can see it on a ticker take. You can message me through Facebook or YouTube for share the shows, share and subscribe so that you don't miss out on another show that's coming. Every guest has an amazing story and journey to share. So, Samir, son, man of God, thank you again for joining us. We look forward to how seeing how the Lord will use you. I will be returning to Pakistan again yeah. this year. This and I have been getting many requests to come back to Pakistan. I'll do so. <laughs> But I want you to know there is a protocol. Um, Prophet Samir Patris is the spiritual son and contact for my Pakistani uh, trips, regardless of whether it's ministering in the church or crusades. So when, when I say that he will be contacting you to leave your information, he has the protocol that I am requesting to be followed Please do not try to circumvent that protocol. He has my ear. He has my wishes. He has my mandate. He has my instructions. So honor the ministry. Honor me. Honor him by going through the protocol if you want me to come to your church or so forth, whatever it is that you have in your heart for me as I come to Pakistan even online teachings and training. So thank you for understanding that. I am one person, so I have people in place and protocols in place so that the will of God can be done decent and in order. So we bless you. We glorify God. We are wishing you, both Samir and myself, a profound week of an amazing day. The glory of God rest upon you. His blessings erupt in you. You are blessed. We are all blessed of the Lord as believers. Continue to keep your eye on Jesus and your ears open to the Holy Spirit of promise. Thank you once again, and we'll see you next week on What's Your Story. Blessings to each and every one of you, and bye for now. Love you more.